Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Arizona Diamondbacks taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. First pitch coming your way next. Ladies and gentlemen, your St. Louis Cardinals. Next to hit, Gerald Hayden. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Ripped into center base hit. One runs in. A second scores as well. Now he launches a throw over his head. And that keeps his hitting streak going. He's making this look way easier than it is, Boog. Setting the record is hard at all, but to keep upping it every day like he is, I don't really know what to say anymore. At this point, it honestly feels like it's never going to end. Absolutely remarkable. Now, here is Gabriel Moreno. Listen, there's absolutely no reason to pitch to this guy right here. You nibble, you see if he'll expand his zone, but don't give him anything to hit. If you walk him, not a big deal. You have a double play opportunity set up. Newt Bar makes the grab one away. Batting six, the center fielder, number five. Alec Thomas now. Boog, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Well, a well-thrown slider like that one can be tough to get in the air. Good downward break on that one. That hey, Eugenio Suarez up to hit now. Hey, Eugenio Suarez. Two outs. So now two on and two outs. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The first baseman, Andres Chaparro. Andres Chaparro stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Hey, get your pitch up there. And a pitch. Liner, base hit. In to score is the runner from third, and it's 4 nothing. Well done. Drives in the run. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First oh, pitch doesn't find the zone. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And no one can get there. Around third. The relay. Not in time. He's safe. And a run comes in to score. He was all over that one. He didn't smoke that ball, but he didn't have to, man. When you're working the ball gap to gap, there's so much open space out there. So I think that knock was all about his approach and that willingness to just let the ball get deep on it. One down. And now the catcher comes up to him. Gabriel Moreno. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. The pitch to third. Fires across the diamond. Out number two, and another run comes in. That right there was pre-pitch preparation by the base runner. Excellent job. Up next to the diamond. You talk about the power and the speed together. Well, we knew he was going to be a stud just coming up, making his way through the minor leagues, and quickly at this level, an impact player. Now one out to right. Brings it in, and that is that. Gerald Hayden stands in now for the Diamondbacks. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. And a 
foul ball. That one lifted to left. Martinez has a beat on it. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. So two away with nobody on. Designated. Gerald Hayden Gerald. getting ready to hit. Hayden. That one is absolutely belted. That's back. Goodbye, home run. He hammers one out to right. His ninth homer of the year. It's 8 0. His bat looks like it's in the zone for such a long time, and that gives him the ability to get barrel on it and hit the ball out to any part of the park. Congratulations to him. He was dominant all game long. Got some really nice play behind him defensively. It seemed like everyone was on board pulling for him to finish the no-hitter, but most importantly, get the W for the team.